Today I learned that Lincoln believed the former slaves would be better off in Liberia or other locations than in the U.S. He held this belief until his death. He even included funding for it in legislation. Abraham Lincoln's presidency is remembered for leading the United States through one of its darkest periods, the Civil War, and his pivotal role in abolishing slavery. However, his stance on the issue of emancipation and colonization of former slaves remains a controversial aspect of his legacy. While Lincoln's views evolved over time, he held on to the idea of colonization until his death, advocating for the relocation of freed slaves to foreign lands such as Liberia and Panama. A deeper examination of his actions and beliefs sheds light on the complexity of this period in history and challenges the narrative surrounding Lincoln's approach to race and equality. Even before the Civil War, in 1854, Lincoln voiced his thoughts on slavery during a speech in Peoria, Illinois. He admitted that, if it were logistically possible, his inclination would be to free all slaves and send them back to Africa, to their own native land. This idea, known as colonization, was rooted in the belief that freed slaves could not integrate successfully into American society alongside their former masters. Although Lincoln acknowledged the impracticality of such a plan, he revisited the notion when the nation faced the devastating conflict of the Civil War. In early 1861, as the war unfolded, Lincoln ordered a secret investigation into the viability of Philadelphian Ambrose Thompson's Cherokee land in modern-day Panama as a refuge for freed slaves. The plan involved having the former slaves work in the abundant coal mines on the property, with profits going towards building up their new settlement. Despite Lincoln's optimism, this idea faced fierce opposition from abolitionists when it became public knowledge, leading to its abandonment. Undeterred, Lincoln persisted in his belief that emancipation and colonization were the keys to achieving peace in the United States. He supported a bill in Congress that allocated funds for the colonization and settlement of free persons of African descent. This legislation would become the final portion of the D.C. Emancipation Act, a significant step towards the president's goal of resettling freed slaves to foreign territories like Liberia and Haiti. In August 1862, Lincoln invited five prominent black men to the White House, marking the first time a black delegation was accorded such a privilege. During the meeting, he expressed the view that coexistence between white and black Americans was untenable and that separation was the most expedient path to peace. Lincoln encouraged these men to rally support for an exodus, further emphasizing his commitment to colonization. Lincoln's belief in colonization found echoes in the Preliminary Emancipation Proclamation, where he expressed that efforts to colonize African Americans would continue. His persistent pursuit of this idea, however, faced challenges and setbacks. The investigation into the Cherokee lands revealed logistical and ownership issues, and another plan involving a small island off the coast of Haiti proved disastrous, with a significant loss of life due to poor conditions. By 1863, it became apparent that Liberia, Haiti, and the Cherokee lands were not feasible options for resettlement. Lincoln floated the idea of relocating the entire black population of slave states to Texas, but this plan, too, proved impractical. Despite these setbacks, Lincoln remained steadfast in his belief that colonization was the only peaceable solution to America's racial divide. In a conversation with General Benjamin Butler just four days before his death, Lincoln expressed his doubts about the possibility of peaceful coexistence between North and South without removing African Americans. He stated his belief that exporting them to some fertile country would be the preferable course of action. While it is essential to understand historical figures within the context of their time, Lincoln's advocacy for colonization raises questions and critiques about his approach to racial equality. His beliefs, which evolved but ultimately persisted until his death, reveal the complexities of addressing the deeply ingrained racism prevalent in the 19th century. It is essential to acknowledge Lincoln's efforts to liberate black Americans and the evolving nature of his views. However, his pursuit of colonization as a solution highlights the challenges of achieving racial integration and equality during a tumultuous period in American history. As we continue to reflect on Lincoln's legacy, it is crucial to engage in honest conversations about the historical complexities of race and emancipation in the United States. 
By acknowledging both the progressivism of Lincoln's time and the limitations of his beliefs, we can gain a deeper understanding of the struggle for racial equality and justice that persists to this day. Lincoln's journey, fraught with contradictions and difficult decisions, serves as a reminder that the path to a more just and inclusive society is ongoing and requires ongoing dedication to change. If you want to know what people used before pencil erasers were invented, check out this video.